Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. So, this has been in my spirit for a couple of days, and I was wondering uh, if I would even speak on it. But, seeing as though I haven't uh, been able to shake what it is that I am picking up, I've decided to go on and uh, do a short video on this particular matter in hopes that perhaps um, I will in fact be able to help somebody else to be able to maneuver through should they ever find themselves and these type of scenarios. So let me just begin by saying good morning. I, I, I've said it already, but good morning to you all. Uh, I pray that you guys are starting off this Friday morning the way that you should be starting it off. First and foremost, you know, giving God praise and thanking him for blessing you with yet another day. We know that if God had not uh, touched us uh, this morning, we would not be here today. We wouldn't be here today to even be able to talk about his goodness or to be able to talk about his mercy or the grace that he gives to us daily. So with that being said, let me go on and speak on this particular matter. So we know that a lot, a lot of us that have been uh, chosen by God, um, and I know a lot of people like they like to claim that they are chosen. It, it, it's just, it just doesn't work like that. But a lot of us who has the the fingerprint on God, and we're set apart for particular things. God's hand is upon our life to do major things during this uh, particular time that we're in today. We happen to be ones that come up under the greatest attacks. Um, sometimes for some of us, these attacks are relentless. They're day in and day out, year after year, month after month, weekly. Um, they're happening often. And I can assure you that if you um, don't have the Lord with you or he's not abiding with you, there is no way possible, absolutely no way. There's no way possible you would be able to, to um, uh, be able to get through what type of attacks that I'm speaking on, okay? You, you wouldn't be able to survive it. I know firsthand, you can't survive it. I mean, we can't really, we, you, you really can't survive anything out here. I don't know how people go on daily and they don't have some type of relationship with the Lord because you really can't survive anything out here without him. But imagine um, you being the target of the enemy based upon who God called you to be and based upon what you were born with, based upon what he sent you to this earth to do. Imagine you being a target. You are a person that has to be forever prayed up. You forever, I mean, you cannot afford to not be prayed up. So basically, I'm, I'm going to speak about um, a situation that recently happened and how words have power, how people can project things uh, through social media um, and in other ways. Uh, I can't really say I've had too many people projecting too many things uh, personally because I don't deal with a lot of people. Um, I just don't allow myself to be around a lot of people anyway. But uh, when on social media, I've had experiences where I would listen to a person speak. And the moment they speak a thing, what they speak starts to manifest so what I generally do is because you don't know what a lot of these people are doing on social media. They can be one minute speaking about God and the next minute we don't know. They could go into some dark closet somewhere, some some place. Uh, I don't know. 
way below in the worst of places to seek demons and devils. We don't know what they're doing. We don't. So first and foremost, before you even get online, you need to be prayed up. You need to be prayed up. You need to be saturated in Jesus's blood. You need to be, uh, you know, in. you just need to really have a spirit of discernment to know what's behind people and what they're speaking. So this is the power of opening up social media. It's the power of music. This is the power of movies. It's the power of witchcraft and whatever else. A person can literally speak something and have it actually happen. I was listening to this particular person and they were going on about how this month that we're coming up, this, that we're upon, uh, brings about a lot of attacks and, and evil dreams and this and that and third. Now, mind you, I hadn't been having no evil dreams. My daughter hadn't been having any evil dreams. We have not been having any kind of evil dreams at all. None whatsoever. Um, but yet, after I had listened to this particular person speak this, once, not mind you, my daughter hadn't even heard this. My daughter hadn't heard the message. She was in the bed sleep. I prayed with my kids all day and we were praying before they went to bed. And so she was in her bed sleeping. And so that night, myself and my daughter both had some similar dreams that were quite wicked. Now, mind you, we had both have never had a dream to this, you know, on this level. This was like really uh, wicked. It was not a good, it, they were not good dreams. And so when she woke up, she come to tell me and I'm racing in to tell her mine. Instantly, we had rebuked it. Instantly, we had canceled the assignment that the enemy had sent out. And I'm going to tell you something about these people. They use these words through social media in order to uh, bind you from being able to move forward in what the Lord has told you that you're to do. They try to bind you up with these words. You are responsible for what you allow. So if something is uh, uh, making your spirit off or you feel like this is not, no, 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 no. You have every right to shut them down. And I don't care what reverse psychology they use. Uh, they may see, they may say certain things like, oh, that person leaves, that person's a witch, that person is that I know the devil is a lie. No, if a person leaves, they left because the Lord spoke to them and told them their time in following you was up. You are to be obedient to what God tells you. When your time is up, it is up and it's dangerous it is a dangerous thing to stay anywhere past your time Woo! that's a word that's a word it's a dangerous thing to stay anywhere past your time once your time is up and the lord says it is up you need to move at when he tells you to move you need to go when he tells you to go okay because there's a lot of stuff going on out here. And we have to get to a place. We, we have lost ourselves by trusting in all these other people. We don't even uh, reverence God the way we should. We don't reverence him the way that we should. And we don't realize that the devil is very crafty, very sneaky. And he will use people with these words that they're speaking to curse your life. They will be smiling at you. But in the same token, they will be cursing you through the words and trying to bind you through what they're speaking. Children of God, we can't be we can't be bounded up by somebody, somebody's words. We can't do that. You know, you can't do that. So you are to reject what's not for you. If you're listening to somebody speaking and your spirit is getting kind of uh, kind of, you know, you know, that feeling you feel when it's like, OK, no, 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 no. Then you reject it. You do not agree with it. You instantly reject it and throw it out. Okay, so that's a word for somebody. I pray to God that it has helped you today because I wasn't sure if I was going to get even up here to speak on it. But because it was heavy in my spirit, I just felt the 
I felt so led, I had to. So uh, just be mindful. Be mindful. Be very mindful that when you are called to do something, these people, they want to attach to you. And sometimes it's not even, uh, it's not you. It's just that they want to attach to your anointing and they want to attach to where you're going, where God is taking you. Some of these people's motives ain't right. Everybody's motives is not right. Everyone, everyone ain't attaching to you uh, for right motives. They don't, all, I mean, you got to watch it. You got to watch it and you just have to be prayed up to, and seeking God so that he'll be able to direct you and let you know this is what's going on uh, and and shut down some things even. And, and some people, some stuff you need to close out. You just need to close out. Okay, so I pray this has helped somebody maybe get some understanding on what's going on. Uh, these word curses and things that they're sending uh via through social media uh you have to be sensitive you have to be sensitive you have to in this season you must so take care of each other take care of yourself today okay all right be blessed